Hello Sabre Collectors. It's time again for another video. This time highlighting my 0.45 scale lightsaber collection from Master Replicas. These uh, sabers were produced from 2004 all the way through 2007 with one exception. A company called the EFX produced a Rays lightsaber from The Force Awakens in 2017. That's the only odd uh, saber that was produced after the Master Replica license ended. Now, this is not the totality of the Saber collection. There are some different ones. There's some gold editions. There are some chrome, pure chrome editions. And there are some exclusives that I don't have. Plus there's a there's two versions of Mace Windu's lightsaber and Count Dooku slash Darth Tyrannus lightsabers out there. Um I'm still trying to get those two versions. But as far as the main collection, I'm keeping with one of every one that was out there. I do have a couple of uh, exclusives, but we'll go ahead and show those to you. First off, we have from the 20, 2007 collection, this is the Collector Society edition of Qui-Gon's lightsaber. Oops. Comes with a pin celebrating the 30th anniversary of Star Wars. And as you can see, here's the lightsaber itself. This was only available through their uh, Collector Society. And as you can see, it has uh, a flip top, not like the others. There is a stand inside for all of these sabers. There is a stand and a certificate of authenticity included. Next, we have the 2005 edition. This is the Darth Maul double bladed uh, lightsaber came with a patch your collector's card when you went ahead and signed up for the collector society there's a certificate this is the type of stand that uh, all of them come with sorry about the glare on this one Half saber of Darth Maul. As you can see, that one is has some nice information on the inside. All these uh, have uh, information on the inside and also on the back. This is the Count Dooku curved hilt saber. Try to get this the best I can. Probably right about there. This is the one that has a duplicate that is listed as Darth Tyrannus. Uh, this had It had a little bit different of packaging that was more toward the uh, end of the run on Master Replicas, similar to this with the red border on it. Uh, this one, of course, is Darth Sidious, a.k.a. Chancellor Palpatine. This is the one we saw him with first. And then later on, In 
in the Clone Wars series, we also saw him with a darker version, or chromed edition. As you can see, there's the darker version. This one was a Best Buy exclusive. Next we have Master Yoda's. You can see it's a nice small saber. And of course we have Mace Windu's lightsaber. Nice Electrum plating there on that. Now this one is one another one that has a different version. Uh, it's similar to the Darth Maul edition. It was a Collector's Society exclusive. The chrome that you see here actually is a duller version. Um, it's more of a matte finish in the Collector's Society edition. Next, we have Anakin Skywalker's Attack of the Clones. And there's just not a good way to do this. Too much glare. Sorry about that, folks. Probably should have taken the inside covers off of them. We have Obi-Wan Kenobi from Attack of the Clones and Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. Try to keep this as centered as possible. Now we go through the Kenobi series. I'll try to keep these all together when they're on my shelf. This one, of course, is from Revenge of the Sith. This is his first uh, saber that resembles the episode four saber. Sorry about the dust. Then we have the episode four as first built. This one is kind of a um, unweathered version of what uh, Sir Alec Guinness used in episode four. You can see that has the an exclusive uh, sticker on it for Master Replicas. Then we have the more accurate weathered version. You can see a lot of nicks and scrapes on this one, uh, especially around the pommel in the uh, graphic Graflex clamp. More in line of what we remember seeing. Then we're going to jump back to. Revenge of the Sith. This is Darth Vader's, although we didn't see it on screen. This is the one that he supposedly had when uh, he was on the Star Destroyer with Palpatine overlooking the initial construction of the Death Star. Then we go on to a New Hope. This is the more classic Vader lightsaber, the one made from an MPP flash gun. Then from Empire Strikes Back, we see this, the uh, modified version of the MPP. This time with some wires 
added to it. And then we move over to taking another step backwards from Revenge of the Sith. We have Anakin's lightsaber. You can see it's very similar to the uh, A New Hope Graflex edition. A little bit of knurling here. There's a gold slide lever there, and a instead of the uh, clear glass eye, you have now this. Uh, orange metallic uh, button. Then we come to the Luke Skywalker version. And you can see the clamp, or rather the control box is on the opposite side for New Hope. But it is the regular Graflex uh, flash gun. Then we move to a new, or I'm sorry, Empire Strikes Back. Now this one, of course, had the second red button added to it. The grips were modified. And of course, the clamp card now had a circuit board in placed in it rather than the bowl strip. And this one is the Return of the Jedi Skywalker. This is the um, Hero Edition. The one we see him working on the in the in the deleted scenes of the cave on Tatooine before going to Jabba's palace. Now there was. For those of you in the know, there was a second saber on that on in uh, Return of the Jedi. It's commonly referred to as the, DB, uh, the DS-6. And that one was uh, kind of a uh, closer addition to Kenobi's without the grooves and the uh, grenade section. And last is the EFX race lightsaber. Uh, it is halfway between A New Hope and Empire. Has the uh, cutout grips. It doesn't have the second red button on it, but does have the uh, circuit board. Uh, clamp in the clamp card. Um, unfortunately, it's a horrible box design. It doesn't It's not the same as the uh, the uh, Master Replicas edition, so it's harder to get out. This one I found on eBay after finding out it was in a loot box, a Star Wars loot box. They were selling these separately on eBay. A little bit of damage to the box. I printed up a uh, an end card since the boxes are essentially about the same size as the uh, Master Replicas but this goes ahead and sits on the shelf this way. Um, it needs to be reprinted because it's already faded. But uh, that is all of the sabers. I will go ahead and leave a list down in the description for all the sabers that I have. And if anyone needs a PDF of the complete listing of Master Replica's 0.45 scale lightsabers, I'll go ahead and include that as well. And we will see you guys next time.